so this is another amazing convergence line uh, surfing flight it's just uh, incredible the cruising along at 16,000 feet along the front range there's uh, multiple convergences actually there's uh, in parallel lines uh, um, managed to get up to the high one uh, on the west side and you know, basically flying it lift the up and down the front range had to take a few circles here and there but uh, for the most part it's been straight flight um, <clears throat> there's a lot of clouds uh, low hanging clouds uh, to the uh, to the east so you can see them here uh, we're, we're way above those clouds and then if you look uh, straight ahead you can see that the clouds straight ahead are considerably higher than uh, than we are so uh, there's a there's huge uh, differences in uh, cloud bases today so uh, above Boulder it's probably around uh, 9 5 10 thousand uh, feet uh, the clouds in front of us are probably at 17 thousand feet and um, there's everything in between um, so the uh, and, and so the reason we're flying in lift here is because there is a westerly wind coming over the divide. It's pretty strong, around 20, 25 knots. Uh, right now it's 18 knots uh, westerlies. And um, the, there's an easterly flow, um, six, seven knots over the plains going east. And where those two air masses meet, that's exactly where we're flying. So. We're flying where the east wind meets the west wind, and when those two wind streams come together, the air has got to go somewhere, and uh, there's only one place to go, and that is up. And so that's where I'm flying, and uh, which this is the line that allows us to do these amazing long, fast flights in uh, straight, uh, continuously in lift, or more or less continuously in lift. And um, on days like this, it's uh, particularly amazing because there are so many good markers here. So if you look down, down here, uh, these are curtain clouds. Uh, they are they're also, you see them up front uh, as little wisps down below us. Uh, they, they mark the, um, uh, they mark where the line is. And uh, so what the trick here is to stay on the left side, on the west side, of uh, these markers and uh, we can keep cruising in, in lift so that's why I just turned a little bit to the to the west because I want to get in front of this this cloud I want to get to the west side of this little marker cloud um, because that's where uh, I suspect the, the convergence isn't the continuous lift line and you can see this this tiny little markers all along this, uh, this ridge uh, below us and uh, we're just going to cruise along this line and, um, and enjoy the views. I mean, this is, now you can see over to the left uh, into Middle Park, uh, further west to the left here. Uh, you know, these are the high, the high mountains of Colorado, the Rocky Mountains uh, in Colorado. There's Winter Park down there, the ski area, you can see it uh, down there. It's, uh, uh, it's so spectacular! It's just, uh, it's just incredible, and uh, it's it's pretty effortless flying, to be honest. Because as, as soon as you, as long as you know where the the lift is, uh, it just all you need to do is follow it, and uh, and that's that's really that's really all there is to it. Uh, the only tricky piece was getting up uh, to uh, into the convergence. And um, I, I have that on videos. I'm going to try and put a little video together that explains how I did it today. Uh, because these conditions are so typical, we find them over and over and over again. And uh, so it's, it's super important that um, uh, one is able to figure out how to get up here because otherwise you're stuck uh, below these clouds on the right. So it's not that the soaring there is bad, it's actually the lift is probably pretty good, but uh, with a cloud base of nine and a half, ten thousand feet, um, you, pro you basically have to take a cloud every few miles and the lift every few miles, otherwise you're gonna get um, 
Uh, you just you just don't have enough ground clearance. Uh, whereas here we can just at high altitude and at 15,000 uh, feet, uh, we can just keep cruising along and um, and then enjoy the views.
So this is a classic example of uh, climbing up into the convergence. Uh, this, the, these, these curtain clouds, they mark the, um, the separation between the two air masses. And once you get on the left side, on the west side of these uh, air masses, that's where the, the lift goes uh, up to, uh, you know, to uh, much, much higher altitudes, in this case, uh, uh, pretty much to 18,000 uh, feet. And the, the clouds in front, they probably are even a little higher. I mean, there's still good thermals over Boulder, over the plains today, but um, you're always in pretty close proximity to terrain and you have to stop and climb all the time. Uh, with this here, uh, you can cruise at, at much higher altitudes, also at much higher ground speeds, obviously, because the, the air is so thin at altitude that now I'm cruising at, uh, at 90 knots, and so ground speed is probably about um, 110 knots. So uh, this is going to make good speed. Uh, it's going to show up uh, well then in the OLC um, because, uh, because of the, the speed that you can make on these uh, long stretches of flying along um, convergence mode. And now I'm, I'm cruising back. Um, you know, I'm a little bit further to the place now off the off the line. The line is sitting out there, but I think I'm gonna take a shortcut uh, over there, and I'm gonna connect with the convergence that is right in front of our nose, and then um, continue up to um, uh, Long Speed, which you see in the distance uh, up front. So um, Evans Long Speed, um, probably all in straight flight. Um, I don't know if I can make it past Longs. We'll see how the, the clouds uh, look by the time uh, we get there. Uh, you don't want to get uh, squashed between uh, curtain clouds and, uh, and, and mountains. Um, so then the um, you know, visibility goes down. And, but right now, I mean, it's gorgeous here. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm flying in a mix of, um, uh, of lift and sink. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, I, I do lose a little bit of altitude as, as we go along here, but it's not terrible. And as soon as I'm going to connect with the convergence, I'm hoping that I will be able to continue without, uh, without further circling. I mean, it's remarkable how well the line is marked here uh, by, by these curtain clouds. So you, you know that the lift is on the west side here yeah, of, these, of these clouds. And you can see I'm flying in three knot average, four knot average uh, in straight flight already even though I'm still a little bit away from the, from the line itself. And that's at, at 85 knots and climbing at, at a three to four knot average in straight flight. So even if there's gaps between these uh, curtain clouds, uh, it's likely that um, they still lift along the way. But if you look at these wisps here, so there's some wisps. So I'm going a little bit further west now because I'm assuming the lift is going to be on the west side of these wisps. So uh, it's always important not to fly uh, just a straight line, but to look for every little sign of uh, of activity of, of um, moving air, of air moving up. So I want to get to the west side of these uh, little wisps here and uh, you'll see we'll, we'll be, we're going to be in lift again. Okay, still lift. So I left Mount Evans at 17,000 feet. We're now at 16,000 feet. 
and I've been trying the whole straight at 90 knots in uh, straight flight. So there's Naiwa Bridge is, uh, down there and uh, Boulder is straight to the right, to, to the east. The car bases are getting uh, lower as we move uh, further north. Uh, that was also predicted on SkySide. But there's still convergence here, so I'm gonna keep following the convergence line for a little while and uh, maybe turn around uh, when they get uh, close to long speed. So there's long speak in front and uh, I think it doesn't make any sense to pass it. So you can see there's clouds moving up on the uh, east side of long speak, very close to the ground. So you don't want to get to the right of longs and left of longs. We're a little low here and uh, also the, there's no clouds just on the west side of long. So this is, is not looking, it's not looking good. I mean, this is not a there's nothing at stake here, so we're definitely not going to take any any risks there. It just doesn't make any any sense to try that. So we're uh, at still at 14,700, so we left um, Evans at uh, 17, so lost about 2,000 feet over that stretch, which um, means we're, we've been flying in good air all the time. So I've slowed down a little bit because I don't want to fall out of the, uh, the band here. So if we, if we drop too low, we have to go to the left or to the east and then have to fight our way back up. And uh, so I'm trying to avoid that right now. Uh, the, the line left is very low. So I'm going to try and connect to the clouds that are up front. And there is, it looks like there's a cumulus uh, right uh, over the ridge past Nivot. So if I can make it to that ridge, I'm hoping to be able to find more lift there. 
and uh, get another climb a little higher up and then we can continue uh, southbound. By the way, I've had uh, Boulder Airport in, in glide range uh, throughout the entire flight, so never been out of glide range so far. So you see these wisps right up front uh, going up. So I'm, I'm hoping to the right of these wisps under the cloud, that's uh, where we should find uh, some wisps. Uh, the wisps seem to be dissolving, so that's not a good sign. That means uh, the lift might be over. We'll see what it means when we get there. But they are they're, they're definitely dissolving. See if we get lift off the ridge in front of us. Whoa, this is gusty here. No, oh, four knots, it's not too bad. Further north, northwest. Yep. Let's keep going along the convergence. even get better lift here.
So it's actually interesting what's happening here. So there's this, the, the convergence is moving further, further west. Uh, so you can see the clouds from the east that are they are encroaching now. Uh, they're reaching all the way to the divide, uh, which means that this is gonna not work very much longer anymore. So, so, uh, and we have to look and watch out for that the clouds to the right, that these clouds, they don't close up and block our way uh, to, get, to get back east. Uh, for now, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look dangerous at all, but um, it gradually this convergence line has shifted uh, and moved uh, gradually from the east to the, to the west. So we have to fly further west, uh, in this case, basically right over the spine of the continental divide uh, to stay in the line and to stay in lift. Um, but it was it was early in the day. It was it was further east, so I was flying uh, about five six miles, uh, seven miles maybe uh, further to the east when I did my my trial lap along this route. It's a little turbulent here, so, which is not unusual because that's where those wind streams come together. That's where the turbulence is. Uh, there's also been some rotor, especially on the back side of, of Mount Evans, there's been, there's been rotor lift. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, to the left, uh, down there is Granby, uh, Grand Lake, um, and to the left. Uh, straight ahead, just you know, we're right now, right on top of the continental divide. So, uh, and uh, flying with a crab angle to the left to work into the wind, still uh, 18 knots from the from the west right now. Um, yep, to the right is Niagara Ridge, and uh, to blow blow these clouds to the right, that's where Boulder is. So we'll soon be descending because I don't want to get uh, stuck above these clouds and. Uh, uh, make it make it back down there. I'm gonna turn this off for now and then uh, I don't know if I will be able to turn it back on. I will have to figure out the best way here to, to get below the, the clouds on the right. It's just a shame that I will have to burn all this energy with the spoilers. On the on the way down uh, to make it uh, make it back down below the the cloud base. There it is. I'm now going to turn a slight right here, and I'm gonna go through this. Uh, uh, oops, above the clouds below us, uh, heading towards the Twin Sisters, uh, where there's there's no clouds at all above uh, Estes Park. And then somewhere from there, I'm gonna turn right, tug underneath the, the clouds that are that are here on the right, and make my way back um, uh, to Boulder. But this is just unbelievable. So this is to the left here is Long Street and Mount Mika. So Mount Mika is in front. Long Street is behind. Um, Long is is already part of the Rocky Mountains National Park. And uh, right behind it, that's basically all of that behind Longs is um, part of Rocky Mountains National Park. Uh, it looks like we just have legal cloud clearances here that we can just make our way through here uh, without violating any of the any of the rules. Isn't, isn't this amazing? This is just so super spectacular. Uh, yeah, it's just amazing. And there's, a, there's all these clouds to the right. There's amazing uh, cloud cover. Strong inversion above, so you can see that the uh, uh, the clouds have no vertical development whatsoever. They're, they're very thin, they're probably just a few hundred feet in, uh, in vertical extent. So now you see Mika is now in clouds. We're now uh, cruising on towards the, uh, the east side of the, 
of the convergence here. Uh, right in front of us is the Twin Sisters uh, sticking out here. Mika and Long Speed now shredded in clouds. This is now a view into Instas Park, so on the right as I said the Twin Sisters below us and uh, Instas Park right in front below us. to Rocky Mountains National Park. This is just as gorgeous as it gets. And, uh, this is now the backside of uh, Long's Peak and Mika in clouds. We're gonna turn here. There's Estes, Estes below us in front. Here to the right, this is the twin sister, so we're gonna turn right here. And then we'll go over the clouds in front of us and then tuck underneath the clouds uh, beyond that and then make my way back to Boulder. I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to concentrate on flying. The last view here before I pull out the spoilers and get in front of the uh, underneath the, the clouds in front of us. Uh, last, last view to the right. Uh, this is Longs and Mika in clouds, continental divide to the right. Uh, unbelievable. This is, this is just unbelievable. There is a Patton Rock Reservoir down there. Uh, so it lions beyond that. But we need to get in front of this, underneath this cloud, so uh, spoilers have to come out. I'm going to turn out. Okay, so now we're below the clouds and uh, I just came down here vigorously with the spoilers. Uh, cloud base here is 11,000. And there is, there's good lift here. It's uh, all thermal lift. So it would have been possible to fly here all day underneath these clouds, uh, no problem whatsoever. You know, it's actually pretty strong lift. I'm gonna uh, keep cruising here for a little while before I head back to the airport. But it's it's uh, it's quite it's quite a different view underneath these clouds than uh, than the view that we just had. Also, you see the air is a lot murkier here. It's uh, by far just the, the views are, you, know, you can't see very far. You can't see very far, he is to the right the continental divide, um, you know, not visible uh, to the left, uh, out into the plains, actually the views are, the, the 
you can actually see a little further. Uh, and then straight ahead, I mean to the left are here the, the flat iron, straight ahead uh, in front of the nose is uh, Thoradin Mountain. Uh, far in the background there is Mount Evans, which where we, where we had been just a little earlier. It's just, uh, this flight has been absolutely amazing. It's kind of, it's so gorgeous. You know, down here the mountains that illuminated by the sun. It's just, it looks amazing. And so right in front of us here to the left, this is where Boulder is. It's all green now down there, it's springtime. To the right is uh, is Gold Lake. Uh, it's already ice free, so that's good. Uh, Gold Lake is the one beyond that. That's uh, I forgot what the name of this one is. Gold Lake is is right in front. We gotta head towards the. Uh, the uh, flat irons make it out a little bit into the plains and then uh, close the triangle and uh, come back to land. Flat irons, straight ahead boulder, uh, and then here below to the left, this is Lee Hill in the sun. Uh, that's uh, where I'm living, where I live, so I'm with my family. It's right um, on the on the left side, um, in the sun there on the on that hill. Beautiful. So green in the spring, pull the reservoir on the left. So this is a view from the plains before I land. I left the flat irons, straight ahead boulder, right pull the reservoir. Very pretty. I still lift everywhere, so it would be quite possible to keep going on these bad streets here. 